I was not a golfer. I've had an interest, but I hadn't actually uh, ever followed through. I very much came at it, as, as well as the team at, at Boeing, the, the other engineers involved, very much as a, as a technology problem, as a flow physics problem, as opposed to you know, trying to improve our experience of golf. We had some ideas about trying to uh, make some more radical changes that weren't very practical. We would have been interested from an aerodynamic point of view to shrink the, the, uh, the face, for example. And uh, obviously from a robustness or uh, forgiveness of the club, that would be an undesirable thing to do. So there were some things where we would have been inclined to push in one direction that really wasn't practical. The big thing that we got involved in is, is uh, on the top, there's this uh, trip step that runs across the top just to beyond the face. And the idea of that is um, as the flow comes in, uh, to the face at the bottom of the swing when the, the club is going the fastest. Um, the flow comes over, it would normally want to separate off of, the, uh, off of the club and it creates low pressure behind it and a lot of drag, slowing down the club right when it's at, at peak speed. The idea of the, of the trip step here is it trips the flow from a smooth laminar state to a turbulent mixing state and what that does is it brings the flow to be more attached, closing in the wake behind it, therefore reducing the drag. When we tested together, we, um, we had it on their robotic uh, swinger and um, were able to change the details of the trip in terms of its height and location. We found we could make improvements and we could also overdo it and actually make it worse. And so out of that space, uh, we picked the, the the best uh, configuration and that really is what fed into this. So I've just been trying the new Callaway XR drivers. There's an XR and the XR Pro and I hit the XR pretty good I thought. Yeah, no, it's very good. And it was